Electric distribution operations is our trouble department. We take care of all of our switching for our distribution and transmission system for both in-house crews as well as contractors. Um, we respond to all outages as well as all the single trouble calls that we receive. We're first responders on all outages. Um, depending on what the cause of the outage is, my guys try to repair that if they can. If not, we'll call our distribution control center and they'll line us out a crew to come out and replace um, what other poles, you know, the bigger items, transformers, and such, things like that. All of our troubleshooters are in a bucket truck and they're, uh, we go up in the air and we'll repair what we can during outages. Um, LBUs, we change out fuses, we'll do small minor maintenance repairs, LBUs, arresters. You know, we want to ensure that every one of us makes it home to our families every night, so safety is our number one priority, obviously. Um, we go through monthly safety meetings. We have tailgate stand downs before each job that we perform, each task, um, along with all the proper PPE that the company provides, as well as any tools that we need, as well as uh, rubber goods, meaning uh, rubber gloves, uh, rubber sleeves, rubber hoses, rubber blankets, and all that gets tested every 60 days. Um, the trucks that they provide for us, they're all inspected every 90 days as well as a dielectric test to, to provide that insulation for us. IIF, our incident injury free culture, it's a way of life of our safety culture. Most of the folks that we have around wouldn't tolerate any sun, unsafe acts. They're, they're really um, proactive in, in finding and um, dealing with any safety issues that, that would come along, any unsafe conditions or whatever are dealt with very, very quickly. Everybody has the authority to, to stop a job at any time to eliminate any of the acts or any unsafe conditions that would exist. Here at Colorado Springs Utilities, we have a Department of Labor certified apprenticeship program for our line techs. It's a four-year program. Uh, it goes in steps. There are six-month steps. Each step has progressively more responsibility, a little more pay. Uh, you'll go halfway through your steps until you make what we call the big step to where you're working the uh, high voltage. That is, in our system, it's the 12-4. Uh, that's our distribution system, and that's uh, 12,000 volts. That's what we uh, run through our system. Uh, our other system is our subtransmission. That's 34-5. That's the interconnect with our substations here. Uh, back to the apprenticeship, it is a four-year program at 7,500 hours of on-the-job training. They go through all of what we call the merchant program. It is a recognized program throughout the industry that a number of companies are using. Upon completion of that program, uh, we put them through our own in-house test. We have our own testing committee that goes through uh, each one of the uh, apprentices. And upon completion of the program and the test, um, they become journeymen. They actually have a license to learn now. One day you could be working uh, overhead, the next day you could work some underground, or maybe a month later you could be on the transmission crew, or maybe you'll go down for a rotation on the network. I entered my employment at Colorado Springs Utilities in 1989 and it's been a fantastic place to work. I've uh, moved several jobs, I've enjoyed the cultures, I've worked in all four um, parts of the industry, water, wastewater, electric and gas. It's been a very exciting career. The reason I'm, I'm very proud to be a lineman is, um, is the effort that I've had to put forth coming up through my apprenticeship. Um, the pride that the linemen have shown teaching me, you know, to get to where I am today. We are a select group. We have an ability to help people. We travel in storms to restore power. That's a great feeling to turn somebody's lights back on, turn their heat back on, to provide them with energy when they've been out of power and been cold for a week at a time. 